ओके गाइज लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द फंक्शन ऑफ गैस्ट्रिक जूस सिक्रेशन और फंक्शन ऑफ स्टॉमक इन अ लिटिल बिट अमाउंट हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट द गैस्ट्रिक जूस सिक्रेशन एंड द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ गैस्ट्रिक जूस वॉट दे आर कॉन्स्टिट्यूटिव ऑफ एंड वॉट आर देयर फंक्शन Now, especially if we're talking about the gastric juice and stomach secretions, in stomach secretions we are having gastric juice, histamine, as well as gastrin, which is a hormone. Now, now let's talk about the activity of all of these things uh, in stomach. So, especially uh, in in one word, we'll be talking about the action of stomach or the function of stomach. Okay, so let's talk about it. Now, at the very beginning, uh, the form uh, release of gastric juice is controlled by this gastrin hormone. especially we'll be talking about the control of this secretion gastrin is a very important hormone to regulate when to secrete hcl when to secrete pepsinogen or not that's very very important so in a situation when the stomach is filled with uh, small particles of food which are called bolus so if it is full filled with bolus and then in that condition it triggers uh, so 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 the signal it provides some signal to this Uh, gastric pit where this and uh, where these g cells are present in the pyloric region so in this pyloric region g cells start to stimulate and they start to produce gastric hormone so let me talk about here so g cells produces gastrin here this stimulate and production of gastrin now as they produces this gastrin hormone this gastrin hormone migrates from this region to different part and this gastrin hormone it's kind of uh, telling or stimulating so this gastrin first of all this gastrin hormone is released and it is mixed with because we know that in this pyloric region there are a lot of blood vessels coming out so blood vessels okay so the gastrin migrates to the blood vessel and then again they return to from that plate because the gastrin is signaling to the region another region and then more and more gastrins are coming in and the gastrin will go and instinct this particular parietal cells to secrete hcl because those are the cells present in the gastric pit to secrete hcl so they instigate the parietal cells to secrete secrete hcl so <clears throat> so what we can write here that this gastrin will tell parietal cells to secrete hcl and parietal cells are getting very much enthusiastic about secreting hcl there so this is secreting hcl now when it is secreting hcl we know hcl is required to activate this pepsinogen molecule which is being secreted by chief cells so chief cells already secreted trypsinogen uh, sorry pepsinogen and then this hcl will act on pepsinogen to convert it into pepsin so hcl act on it to convert the pepsinogen into pepsin which is in active form right so this one is active now pepsin is ready to interact with protein molecules to degrade the protein molecules but again the process of secretion of this hcl as well as pepsinogen is regulated by gastrin because gastrin is the master controller which is the inducer of all of these events right so it is a very very key player here now gastrin also stimulates the secretion of in this if or intrinsic factors as well as it stimulates the secretion of histamine from this particular place it usually st stimulates the interaction of histamine so as they are also going towards the histamine secretory cells or the paracrine cells instigate them to secrete histamine so let me talk about here so the gastrin will also migrate to secret histamine so as histamine is made more and more histamine is made histamine also works on to the parietal cells to secret hcl now let's let's look at it what is going on gastrin itself stimulates the secretion of hcl and it also produces histamine the stimulation of histamine histamine goes and also stimulates the production of hcl so now along with gastrin histamine is also stimulating the secretion of hcl from parietal cell so secretion of hcl is now two fold increased by the action of gastrin as well as histamine and then hcl is produced pepsinogen to pepsin is converted the pepsin will act on proteins to degrade them into smaller particles and and this intrinsic factor is also required because the effect of intrinsic factor is to absorb to absorb 
vitamin B12. And vitamin B12 is a very necessary factor to synthesize red blood cells in our body. So for that reason, intrinsic factors are required to uptake vitamin B12. And vitamin B12 is the only thing that is uptaken in the stomach. Because the rest of the part, their stomach is not there for absorption, I have told you. So vitamin B12 can be absorbed in stomach using this intrinsic factor. So intrinsic factor will go and tell the cell to take out. Because intrinsic factor will hold on to B12 and it will engulf it. And if there is any problem in production of intrinsic factor in stomach, there will be less absorption of vitamin B12 by, by your stomach. Okay. So this is a way of how it controls the secretion in stomach and the function of the stomach. Usually the function is protection by mucus and the digestion of food using gastric juice and the control of whole process by gastrin and histamine. I hope that's helpful. Thank you.